Hello, doctors. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. The Yonda push-up movement pattern test is an excellent way to view the patient's scapular thoracic motion. What we're going to be doing is we're going to have the patient do a couple push-ups. If they cannot do a standard push-up, then we can have them do a push-up where they are on their knees or maybe they, their upper body is elevated. They can use a table or they can use a bench. And then we're also going to demonstrate some push-ups against the wall. So what we want to do is observe the motion of their scapula. We want to see if there is tipping of the scapula, if there is excessive rotation of the scapula, or if there is weaning of the scapula. But what we're looking at is the motion of the scapular thoracic joint. There can be weakness in one of the muscles or multiple muscles. There can be a strength imbalance, and that can mean that there is an abnormal movement pattern. If there is a nerve entrapment, that will show on this motion. There can be a nerve entrapment of the dorsal scapular nerve, of the long thoracic nerve, or the spinal accessory nerve. So we want to look at the scapulas. If there is an excess, excessive amount of protraction, if there is weaning of the scapula, the weaning of the scapula can be at the inferior border or throughout the entire scapula. So we want to look at the scapular motion while the patient is doing the push-up. We can also have the patient do push-ups against the wall. This is an easier way for the patients to do it. Most people can do this unless if they have an issue with maybe the wrist or the elbow or the glenohumeral joint. But this is a great way to view the motion of the scapular thoracic joint. Look for strength imbalances, look for muscle weaknesses and improper movement patterns. If there is an improper movement pattern, it may indicate that there is a nerve entrapment of the dorsal scapular nerve, of the long thoracic nerve, or the spinal accessory nerve.